Today I'm going to show you how to build wealth over the course of a decade. William from New Jersey, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, my man Tommy cutting up the footage. Today's video is from my guy Willie, my guy William from New Jersey, okay? You are a truck driver at UPS. Kind of cool. My grandpa was actually a truck driver at UPS for many, many years. And then my father is a truck driver for FedEx. So we got truck drivers in my lineage as well. You want to uh, get into real estate investing. This will be your first ever investment. And your goal is to, to build some wealth over the course of a decade. You know that you can't go from zero to 60 you're, you're interested in doing this over the slow long haul you know you had even said hey approximately uh, 10 years is uh, where I'd like to be and you wanted me to kind of walk you through the steps in how you can go ahead and get started uh, in investing in general as well as with Holton Wise and through our process now the first thing too is you asked me if I can hook you up with my lenders absolutely Everyone else who's watching this, uh, it has been released on Holton Wise TV probably 60 to 90 days after I sent this to Willie. So, Willie, when I emailed this video to you or when I do email this video to you, I am going to include a link that's going to have all of my lender contacts for you to utilize and get pre-approved. Everyone else who's watching this on Holton Wise TV, he's already got that. But if you guys need the same lenders, you guys just need to send an email to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com, and we will get you that same list the lenders okay now Willie this is very important it's good that you chose 10 years because 10 years is kind of the trajectory that I would have put on your investing career anyway you have your day job which is driving truck for UPS great union job I'm sure you're making pretty decent money nice middle middle at uh, middle class income there I'm not going to assume um, based on the fact that I know what truck drivers make I don't think you have just tons and tons and tons of money uh, sitting around so you can't just buy a bunch but what you can do is you can probably afford to buy one of these types of investment properties that I found for you every single year that's cool because the number one thing when we're getting into investing in real estate is the financing and this residential financing the type of loans you're going to want to get these are 30-year loans fixed interest low interest those are the types of loans the lenders that i sent to you those are the types of loans that they write now the thing that limits us as real estate investors buying these investment properties is we can only get 10 of these loans okay these are you know fanny and freak uh, fanny and freddie compliant loans we are limited to 10 of those per person. So I don't know if you already own your own home. If you do not, I want you to use your first mortgage on your own home. I think you should always take care of home base before you buy any rental properties. I did find a great rental property for you, but I don't think now is the time for you to buy it if you do not own your own home. I want you to use the first mortgage on your own home. You're only going to need to put down like 3.5% if you do an FHA loan. Start paying down your mortgage instead of a landlord's mortgage. Then when you've saved up enough money to pick up your first investment property, we'll use the remaining nine loans on rental properties for you. The particular property I found for you today is going to require a down payment of under $20,000. It's $19,975 if you bought it at its current listed price because on a non-owner non -owner occupied home, you got to put down 25%. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. 
You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. So going forward with the uh, assumption that you do own your own home and we're working on our first of nine of those uh, non-owner occupied rental properties let's get into exactly the type of property that I have found for you what I have got for you is three five I'm sorry three four five one West 100th Cleveland Ohio four four one 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 this particular property is a duplex it is listed at seventy nine thousand nine hundred this is this is key Willie right here Days on the market. This bad boy has been sitting on the market for over 200 days. That would imply uh, imply that it is a, a crummy deal, but that is actually not the case. This property was listed for too high. It was listed much higher. As a matter of fact, it just got reduced from 89.9 to its current price of 79.9. The particular owner actually bought this thing in 04, and I, I believe he paid uh, it was like 105,000. So he's trying to sell it for too much. Um, so that's going to allow you to swoop in and get a pretty good deal here. As far as the photos, by the way, this is listed by an agent from a Keller Williams brokerage. I've actually done several deals with this guy. He's pretty, pretty sharp dude. Uh, but what we have here is we have a marketing uh, experience that's not that great, right? All we have is just a few photos of the outside. We don't have any photos of the inside, which is going to lead most likely it's not the biggest culprit, but it is a determining factor in keeping a property on the market if we are not providing the buyers with the type of information that they want. What they want is they want to see what they're getting. So that's okay, though, because this particular property, we have like hundreds of these in our portfolio. So I don't need you to see exactly what's going on there at this point in time for me to identify that this is a good deal for you. As a matter of fact, I kind of like um, that there's not that many photos. I like that it was overpriced at, f at first. Now it's priced pretty close to where I want it to be. And another factor that's going to keep drawing that price down is the current rents. Each of those units, two bed, one bath, and they are paying five seventy five a month. So this thing brings in $1,150 a month or 13000 800 a year if we were to run the numbers break down the numbers these are a reasonable expectation of what you can make off of this property you're going to bring in 1150 bucks a month now based upon what i see at holton wise managing hundreds of these properties like literally in this exact neighborhood we have hundreds of these duplexes with the same layout everything like there's no photos of the inside but i know what the layout looks like okay there's going to be a kitchen in the back dining room in the middle living room in the front on the side there's two bedrooms with the bathroom in the middle it's probably got nice classic hardwoods under it whenever these particular tenants move out we're going to need to spend several thousand dollars fixing it back up uh, getting it ready for the next tenants um, we are not going to have you buy this property just based on my assumption right there, though. We are going to, of course, put in your offer contingent on an inspection. We're going to get a third-party home inspector into the property. That home inspector is not my employee. He's not the seller's employee. He's going to be your employee, and he's going to get paid up front no matter what. So his only motivation is to make sure you have all of the information. I can refer you to home inspectors out here in Cleveland, or if you want to keep everything completely arm's length, you could hire any inspector you want and give their um, contact info to my team will get you in there it's very important when you're buying properties out of state that you guys do this do this due diligence you don't want to buy a property and not know exactly what you're getting but back to those numbers though what you can expect in a normal duplex like this you should be estimating you're going to spend 57 a month for repairs and maintenance vacancy and non-payment and capex now 
That doesn't mean you're doing $57 a month in repairs every single month. There's not going to be like line items from Holton Wise like 57, 57, 57, 57. What that is is you're saving up for the big problems. So like maybe nothing happens. Uh, your tenants, we have these two inherited tenants. Everything's cool. You don't have any repairs for like two years. And then boom, the tenants move out and we give you a five or $6,000 turnover bid to handle all the repairs to get it ready for the next tenant. You know that turnovers are part of the business. You know they're going to happen. So what you're doing is you're budgeting for it. You're saving that 57 a month or 684 a year, knowing that's going to happen. Same thing with your capital expenditures. Those things are going to happen. Every 30 years, you're going to have to spend you know, $7,000 or so on a big old roof on this property. Every 15 years, you're going to need to spend about a grand on a hot water tank. Every 30 years, you're going to need to spend about three grand on a new furnace. As far as the current ages of these items, we don't know exactly how old they are right now. I would anticipate, based upon what we see in this market, I would anticipate they're probably mid-life for all of those things. I wouldn't expect you to be able to go in and get a property with two brand new furnaces, two brand new hot water tanks, a brand new roof. If this property had those, I guarantee you the listing agent would have been marketing that stuff. So I'm sure it's like somewhere in the middle, and our inspector is going to give us a better idea of how old the particular mechanicals are. And now you know the cost for those items, and what you're going to do is you're going to budget for that, though. So you're not spending that 57 every month right now, but you're putting it in your pocket, knowing that it's not cash flow, knowing you can't really use that money to buy your second and your third property, but you're going to save it because eventually you're going to spend it on this property. Taxes, 171 a month. Insurance, 80 bucks. By the way, Willie will take care of your insurance. All you've got to do is click the show notes below. We will quote you out an exact quote for this property. Uh, we have a farmer's franchise that we purchased because Farmers owns a company called Foremost, which is by far the cheapest and the best insurance provider of rental property insurance policies. So that's why we went with that office. So anybody else who's watching this nationwide, we are doing business not just in Ohio, but all the states. Uh, we are licensed. We are doing rental property insurance in all 50 states. So if you guys want to lower your insurance in the show notes below, click the link. We will provide you a quote for your property. Uh, for this one, Willie, off the top of my head, it should be 80 bucks. Water sewer, you got to pay the water sewer for the tenants. Uh, more info on why is in the property management fact, which I wanted to discuss with you anyway, because one of your big questions to me is how much does our property management fees cost? How does the whole thing work? So we made this incredibly easy and streamlined for you and for all the folks out there watching this. All you got to do is you go to our website, go to our FAC, okay, and you go to our property management FAC. This management FAC is the most transparent FAC that I've ever seen any other property management company do. The very first thing we have right here, this is our actual property management contract. This is the contract my team will make you sign if you want us to manage your property. So every single thing that we do is included. All of our duties to you are included in there with to the dollar how much money we are going to charge you to do all those things. So things like your monthly management fee, which is typically 10%, leasing fees, renewal fees, right down to how much it costs for me to send out one of my service techs to fix a broken toilet. Everything is totally laid out for you. So the first thing you want to do if you're considering um, doing property management with Holton Wise is read that. And then through there, we walk you through everything, the buying process. And, you know, a lot of these have video tutorials, right? You read the question, and then you get the video answers. It's very, very uh, transparent. Everything we do, we put it on this fax. So any question you possibly have is likely there. If you have additional questions, shoot them to me in an email. Shoot them to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Drop them in the comments of this video. But we break all of that down for you. And all the way down here at the bottom, let me get all the way down. Again, as I said, man, this is super robust. Everything and everything is in here. Questions you don't even know you have are going to be answered in here for you. But all the way down at the bottom here, what this is, I would like to charge the tenants for water and sewer. Will you bill my tenants? The answer is no, and then we continue to go on for why the answer is no. So, Willie, I want you to read that. There are some logistical reasons, some legal reasons, and just some problems with the Cleveland Division of Water, which is why 
Your tenants will never directly pay a water bill. You'll always be responsible, which is why we need to factor that into your expenses. It should cost roughly 150 bucks a month. Rounding out the expenses, we got lawn care. Holton Wise will handle that. Should run you approximately 33 uh, 33 bucks a cut, which is going to average out to, I believe, what is that? It's 528 a year, so that is going to average out to 44 a month. We are not cutting your grass 12 months a year here in Cleveland. We are only cutting it 16 to 18 times, but it is going to run you about 528 a year. And then PM fees for everything. Again, we take 10%. That's 115. You'll want to refer back to that fact, though, to read all the other prices because, you know, the general, the normal fee is 10%. But it's an a la carte service. Property management is an a la carte service. So when additional service is required, of course, there are additional fees. Now, if we bring in 1150 we should reasonably expect to spend approximately $720 a month. It's not going to be that every month. Some will be high, some will be low. You'll have months of good performance, months of bad performance, years of good performance, years of bad performance. But over the long haul, if you buy 10 properties all like this, they should average out to that type of performance, which will give you an NOI of $430 a month or $5160 a year. Now, if you bought it at $79.9 and you used one of my lenders to give you a loan, you only got to put down $19,975, which means one of my lenders is going to lend you $59,925. That is a teeny weeny teeny tiny mortgage. That is only three oh three a month. If you're bringing in four thirty, you're only spending three oh three. Your net cash flow after you pay off that mortgage should be one twenty seven a month, or you should be bringing in one thousand. $524 a year. Now, Willie, you're newer to the game. So another thing I want to show you, if, you know, perhaps you buy this property, maybe you don't, or when you're looking at your second through your ninth property, what I think you could probably do is, you know, save up enough money to buy one every year or maybe buy one every two years. And over the course of 10 to 20 years, you're going to build yourself a solid portfolio here. And those tenants are going to pay off the majority of it. Now, this property is only 80 grand, but just for easy math, let's just assume you bought 10 properties. Let's just call it 10 just for easy math. Well, no, let's just call it 9 because I want you to buy your own home first if you haven't already bought that. So say you bought 9 properties. They're all valued at approximately $80,000. All right. That is going to be a portfolio of $720,000 that you would own. But the cool thing is you're only going to have to pay for a quarter of that. The tenants are going to pay off the rest. So for you to own, assuming no appreciation, none of that, for you to own $720,000 worth of real estate, you're only going to need to come up with $180,000, okay? $180,000 is all you've got to come up with. You divide that by 10 if you're trying to buy one every year. That's 18 grand a year is all you got to save. You save 18 grand a year, and then you invest it in real estate. At the end of that decade, you're going to have a net worth over $720,000. Well, your net worth, you would own over $720,000 worth of real estate. You wouldn't technically see that in your net worth till the end of the 30-year terms of those mortgages. But for $18,000 a year, you could turn yourself into a guy who's got a $720,000 portfolio all on a salary of a union truck driver. That's not bad. Now, the financing being so important, I want you guys to check this out too, Willie. Go to the tools and resource section of HoltonWise.com. You go to the mortgage calculator, and when you're running your numbers on these properties, we put this right in there for you so you guys can check everything out. You can see exactly what your payments would be. Now, this particular one, right, 79900 assuming you paid full price for it, you got to spend 25% for your down payment. So the mortgage is going to be 59925 Loan term, you always want to go 30 years. Now, the cool thing about our table, too, is it's going to auto-populate an interest rate based on the average interest rates that we are seeing in the nation. Now, I've actually seen some a little bit lower than 4.5%, but just to be safe, let's just go with what the calculator, what the tool is auto-populating based upon what's out there. And then you just click Calculate, and it is going to show you guys, well, whenever it loads, it's going to show you guys your monthly payment, and it's going to show you every single month how much principal you're paying, how much interest you're paying. Now, 
For those of you out there who are totally brand new at this game, another thing you got to understand too when you're buying this real estate, you want to do it slow and steady like my guy Willie, okay? This is not, we don't buy rentals and then just immediately turn them and make money, right? We want to hold these for the long haul because if you look at your, your beginning, right, the first few payments of that 303, 78 of that goes back in your pocket. That's that's additional money for you, right? That's that's paying down that mortgage, but you're paying 224 a month in interest. So if you sell in the first few years, your your loan value is still going to be relatively high because the majority of money you're paying is in that interest. They pound the interest up front. But once we get towards the end of the loan, if you look at like your last payment, for instance, of that last payment of 303, 302 of it is all principal. So once you start owning these for a very long time and you get to the ends of those mortgages, you're really just bringing in the money. You know, you're thinking that money's not coming right back to you because it's going to pay off that mortgage, but it's really coming right back to you in the form of equity. Now, Willie, one other thing, too, about this property. Another reason I really like this property for you, brother. Here's the cool thing. With what we have, after you pay off that mortgage... You should cash flow 127 a month, which is reasonable, respectable, very nice. 1,524 a year on average. That's a 7.6% return on your money. Nothing wrong with the 7.6% return on your money. But here is the cool thing, and this is what's really nice. Other folks may not know this. If you buy this property and you're thinking 575 is the rents you need to continue to get all the time, you are missing out on a ton of money because there is some additional money here. We have, as I said several times, we have hundreds of these duplexes. The market rent, if we go in after we remove those tenants or maybe we continue to increase their rents up, the market rent for these units, if these units are decked out incredibly nice, is actually $750 a month per unit. So instead of bringing in $1,150 for the long haul, we could actually increase that another 350 bucks a month, okay? So that would take your cash flow after you pay down that mortgage, which again is going back to your pocket. That'll take you up to 477 a month on average. Now, as far as how we get from where we are today to the higher rent, I don't think you just buy it and you immediately slap notices like, hey, tenants, as soon as your leases are up, boom, your rent's up to 750 because it's market. Don't do that, Willie, because that's going to cause at least one of them to move out in my experience. What you want to do, you know 575 is way too low. What I think you need to do is just every year increase the rent 25 or 50 bucks. We want to keep them there as long as humanly possible because I'll tell you what, when one of them does move out, okay, say they live there for like four or five years, they're paying 575. I guarantee you there's no scenario where they can move out of that property and then you could put a brand new tenant in there paying 750 unless you're spending four, five, six thousand dollars really decking that unit out, sprucing it all up. So you never want to be in a hurry to spend money. We never want to create artificial turnover. You're going to get turnover no matter what. People are going to be coming and going. It's a multifamily unit. It's a C-class property. That's part of the game. That's going to happen. But let's not make it happen more than it needs to. The numbers currently are totally respectable. You're making money. So just pocket that money. Let the thing coast. Continue working your job as a truck driver. Continue aiming to save that 18 to 20K a year so you can buy that second property, that third property, the fourth, all the way to nine. So you, my man, have a portfolio valued at over 700000 And hey, it's real estate. Real estate does appreciate. I think the nationwide average is like 2% appreciation uh, rate. Cleveland is not necessarily what you would call an appreciation market, though, so I don't like to sell uh, my investor clients on appreciation. I just want you to focus on that cash flow and the fact that those tenants are going to be paying down that mortgage for you. So, Willie, I have sent you the list of lenders already. Um, you just contact them, get yourself pre-approved through them, and then if you are ready to write an offer on this particular property, we will take care of it. We will handle the entire transaction, just like you saw in the FAQ where, where you saw the buying process. My team, we will handle uh, your side of the transaction. We will be working as your buyer's agent. The guy from Keller Williams was hired by the seller, so we're going to negotiate on your behalf. All you got to do is send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Uh, to tell us what you'd like to offer. My opinion, since the rents are lower, 
The property's been on the market for a long time, 200 days. We don't have very many photos, which means I believe we don't have a lot of other interested parties looking at this. I think we can come in and steal a good deal here. I'd want to start the bidding in the low 70s. I'd want to start the bidding at $72,000. But, of course, it's up to you. It is your property. It is your offer. It's your money. But my opinion as your broker, I say we start things off at $72,000, make it contingent on inspection, and, of course, you getting your loan through one of my lenders, and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, with everything, I'd be very, very, very pleased if we could pick this up somewhere in the mid 70s for you. Start at 72. If we ended up closing at 75, 76, 77, 78, that would be fine. Obviously, the lower the better, but still a solid deal because remember, we can get that rent all the way up to 1500. So, again, Willie, you ready to go, man? Sales at holdenwise.com. We'll take care of that. Uh, we'll get your inspector in there. If you need a referral for an inspector, we'll send you that. Everyone else, if you're interested in getting a personalized show just like this, go to HoltonWise.com, click on the Property Search tab, and then go down to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I will make a personalized plan for you like I've done for Willie. As a matter of fact, Willie got two of these videos from me, so we're going to start off with this one, Willie. And then I'm going to let the dust settle on this. We're going to see if this property ends up getting taken down by you or if after you watch this video and you talk more to my lenders, you want to change things out and narrow your criteria down a little bit more. When I film that second video for you, I will take all of that feedback and we will personalize the plan for you even more. Other investors out there watching this, I can do the same for you. So just go ahead and go to the MLS Search and Analysis Show tab to order a personalized analysis like this. Or if you just want to buy properties that I am selling, you want to check out the Investment Properties for Sale show. If you click the show notes, you can subscribe to the mailing list. We email that out every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you guys can see full video tours of all the properties we are selling because we are the number one seller of rentals here in Cleveland. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. U.S. REIB is a full-service, turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies 
but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.